uh, uh, cut down costs on, on businesses that are losing money. And, you know, apparently Twitch is, is not doing so well. And I think this is this is how they're, they're reacting. I don't think Twitch wants to do this. Like, I think they're getting told by Amazon that, that you need to you need to cut your expenses. And, and obviously one thing that, that, you know, lose money on is when creators advertise without going through their avenues, right? And, and I get that. It makes sense. But, hell, it's going to piss off everyone. Like, that's going to cause big problems. So... Right. I think it's one of those things where they're going to they're going to make a little bit of more money, but they're going to do it at the cost of, you know, some of their biggest and most loyal creators. Like, I, I think this will be the final straw for a lot of people. Like, as you guys know, it, it's it's not it, it's hard work being a streamer, being live for like eight, 10, 12 hours a day. Like, it's fucking hard I said hard it, bro. Work. It's, it harder. Is hard it's, work. it's harder. And some streamers don't get paid. Like, yeah. for the yeah. amount of work that goes into it, it's bullshit, man. Yeah. And now they're taking away the one final bit of money that people can make. And I, I don't know. At some point, people, you know, they, they go, this is enough. Is like, I think this is it. I, I think this will be enough to push up the question. Yo, yo, what's yo, good? What's good, train? What's hey, good? train. Yo, Eddie, a big question that's coming from my chat. A big thing is the console app. The console oh, yeah, app yeah, is yeah, a big yeah. thing. They really love watching on console. Chat, any questions you guys want to ask? So I got can you. Can you get like a, a date on that or an estimated time? Hey, hey, come to the camera and say hi. Um, console stuff. I, I for support for consoles is something that we get requested constantly. Constantly, we we need to get it done. It's it's not getting sorted right now, but I'd say. End of Q3, it, it, it could definitely be a real possibility. It, it, is, it is a big project. We want to do it right. You know, we can implement it in a way which, which wouldn't be... I think a big thing about Kick is everything we implement, we try to do it you know, at the same level of all competitors, right? Like we, we were kind of slowly rolling out features, but when we do roll out a feature, people are like, wow, this, is kind of, this isn't like a, you know, a, a half-assed attempt at it. So we, we want to make sure we get it right. That, that, that's really important Eddie, to us. So Eddie, as Eddie, a result, we, we are taking a bit of time to get there. Eddie, speaking on this topic, TV app they're curious about. And then, you know, the mobile app is still a bit buggy. Obviously, it just came out. You know, when, when do you think the next patch for mobile will come out to avoid crashes and, you know, stuff like that? Um, I think, yeah, the main, the main issue is currently on Android, right? Like people on Android phones should be experiencing the, the bug. Are you guys Android or iPhone? Yeah. We, we, have a, we have a new... Um, update going out for that right now it's just pending approval from um google play store so that there should hopefully solve pretty much all the issues oh what about roku app the roku app on a tv like a tv app yeah yeah no well similar to the console we need we need to we need a bit more time Who to get that, that gotcha. sorted. um there, there, there's no plans for that quite yet but it's it, it, it's it's surely I'd, I'd say again to the end of q3 100 percent. yo they dissing they said Yo, I'm not even gonna say it. Yo, what? What they say? What they say? Oh no, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. I already, I already shook the can a little bit. I'm not gonna Who's say it. Who's it about? Who's it about? It's about, uh, it's about Kai. They said Rumble out offered. Uh, that's what you said. You said what? Rumble out offered kick. Yeah. Eddie, what are your thoughts? And I, I don't know what I don't know what Kai's deal is. I don't know what you know, anyone's deal is on that front, right? They've they've obviously decided to make that choice based on a few factors. Um, you know, I think I think what we require from people is a bit different, right? I think you know what Kick's trying to do is create a, a streaming community, and and as you guys are aware, in order to create a community, you know we require people to be on Kick for the majority of, of He's a good answer, time, chat. right? Um, He's PR trained. We want to be the preferred platform no, for people. I He's think a good guy, bro. what's happening with, with some of these other deals with other platforms is that they're requiring people to go live for like two or three or four hours a week. Like that's not choosing a platform. That's just kind of like, you know, just going elsewhere for a couple of hours then going back to, 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 to you know, their, their main platform, right? So I don't think that's really a commitment. So, you know, I think the price is reflective of the commitment versus I think that's the that. difference between that. what we're asking. That's exactly right. Trey, where are you at, bro? You look good. Why don't you put your camera on? Yeah, I haven't seen you in so Come long, on, bro. Guys, guys, listen, I'm going for the top 1,000 in Diablo 4. You don't want to see what I look like. Believe me. Okay? Let's just say, uh, <laughs> just, just trust me on this. Okay? My half beard is grown out. Okay? You know, the hair, it's wild. You know, just just trust chat, me. Chat, Priya Okay? What's the over-under, chat? Who wants to bet? Uh, I'm kidding. Uh,
Whoa, whoa, yo, yo. What the fuck you mean we should go to Africa? Maybe yo. we should go to Germany. We should go to Germany. Come yeah, on, bro. Yeah, fuck out of here. <laughs> yo, David, right? Like, what the hell? Yeah, what was that? David, yo, shut up. Oh, shut up, David. You know what the fuck. Ooh. David, put your camera on, David. All right, hold on. I just downloaded this bullshit. I want to see what David looks like. I've never seen it. Here we go, David. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> This motherfucker. Yeah, pretty dick, so he looks nothing like me. All you motherfuckers better be on my dick, bro. Nothing like Come me. Come on, everyone knows you're my he son. Look like, he look like your daddy, he do. David looks he like, like he's like in a show called Entourage. You know what I'm talking about? Everybody wants in now. Everybody. Chow, please, please, like, guys, chow, what can please. I say? You know who you're please. talking to, right? <laughs> I went through the most shit from these people, and they're now they're. Like, do, do you understand? My life is a fucking, like, it, it, it's a goddamn. What's that Ashton Kutcher shit called? Pranked? What is that shit called? Pumped. That's my Pumped. life. Punk. God is punking me. God is punking me. Do you understand me? Holy shit. Um, but now, nah, Eddie, I've never heard you curse before. Do you curse or no? Yeah, no, of course. Why, why wouldn't I? I've just never heard it out of your mouth. I don't know. I don't know. Well, we just have such great conversations, man. There's never need to curse. There's <laughs> just such positive energy. That's yeah, why. that's what it is. Yeah, but wait, that's fucked up, Eddie, because you and I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was going to say, our conversations, man, fucking different shit. Yeah, is, yeah I've nah, heard a couple joking. things. It's always positive. Uh, it's always good. Uh, it's no, always it's good. all love. It's all uh, love. Yeah, I'm uh, Eddie, I got, a, I got a question, Eddie. I got a question. And I don't want to sound like I'm asking for a lot. You know, you know the, the deal is pretty crazy, but uh, can I get a $20 million steak deal? Is that possible? <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I don't think that's uh, yeah possible at this at this very moment. But you listen. You know that's the thing with Kick, right? Kick isn't limiting your opportunities to to take sponsorships. You can take sponsorships See, with anyone. You could take sponsorships with I don't know. Maybe there's another gambling site that'll offer you a twenty million dollars sponsorship. I don't know. Exactly. They're not limiting that possibility. It doesn't matter. It might not be twenty million. Might not be that. But hey, there is possibilities with Kick. That's the difference. And then some of these other platforms, you're literally, you've got no possibilities. You've got nothing to shoot for. Nothing. You can shoot for some gifted subs and, and kind of hope that Yo. You know, keeps you going. But... <laughs> Yo. I got you, bro. That's Just fire facts, David Bromberg as your manager. We'll get you set up. All these other streamers, you know, these guys that are taking G League deals on Rumble, sadly, they don't have a David Stromberg in their corner. <laughs> Not everyone gets the best of <laughs> uh, We'll, we'll get you started. Deal. Me and Eddie got you. Yeah, thank you, David. <laughs> thank you. Damn, W talks, man. This shit is crazy. No, the fact that we could just call you, Eddie, because, you know, to get a hold of Twitch, man, you got to go through 30 people. Trey, you know, yeah. you've been streaming on that shit for since Justin TV, right? So, you know damn well, like, it's never been this easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, the fact not, that I can yeah, call you, Eddie. Not that far back, but yeah, 10 years. 10 oh, my years. bad. You're like, what? How that's, that's the thing, bro. It's, 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 not, it's not just me, though, right? Like, the difference is, like, anyone involved in Kick you can get a hold of, right? Like, the difference yeah. is, like, I, I don't know what it is. I think it might be just... Everyone at A and Com Fat. Yeah, they, they, they do, like, distance themselves from the from the creators. And I think it's, I think that's the policy they have, and it's a, you know, it's a way that they do business, and maybe it's justified because of reasoning within, within the company. But, you know, it's, it's not just me that you can get a hold of. Like, anyone who has... Any kind of association with Kick, like you know, there, there is a way to get in contact with someone who can who can get you answers. So you don't even have to be, you know, you know, one of you guys, a live streamer. I think that's what we want to differentiate ourselves by. Even if you contact our support, like our support, I don't know if you guys have contacted support at Kick.com. You'll get a response within like five, ten minutes max. Like, like give give it a shot. Like you will. I probably shouldn't say that on live right now because you guys go spam it, but. Um, you know, the, the response times are, are incredibly good. And I think that's why we want to differentiate ourselves with creators. He understands uh, how we operate, how we do things. He has me, which, you know, I have the keys to the fucking castle, which underestimated me. They sided with a bunch of dumb rat faced motherfuckers. And now look at them. Bro, you know what I'm saying? It's so funny. Them a little range motherfuckers here. are getting eaten alive by the very support of the creators they supported. They, they're turning on them. So it's at the end of the day, like, I think Eddie, he's in touch with, you know, the creators, small, mid, large size, all of them. And because of that, because he's willing to listen to me, because he's willing to keep an open mind for things that I have to say, you know, since I've been in the industry for a while or for other streamers, I think that's what separates Is us from Mixer. Me? Mixer just threw a big paycheck at streamers that are what I call passive streamers. They play their game. They don't really talk much. They just sit there and play their game, right? Like you're not going to go anywhere with that because you're going to remain stagnant with that, stagnant with that kind of uh, uh, approach.
we're going about it in a different way, right? We're building a community. We're not just paying big streamers to come over here and stream brainlessly. We're building something. We're connecting the viewer and streamer in a way that Twitch, not even Twitch is Facts, chat. I feel right? more connected to you guys than ever. I think that could be myself on God. You know, those I could say some crazy shit. Compete. Does that make sense? A lot of sense. I loved where you just said the, the, the streamer and the viewers connect more than ever. You look at Bruce's yeah. few streams that he's been on kick, his community feels more connected to him than, than they felt in a while. And Bruce, I'm sorry, I'm speaking for you, but you told, you expressed that to me. Yeah. And what, you know, what you guys are doing is literally changing the game. You're bringing back the old vibes of streaming because streaming now is so saturated and it's so hard to be a streamer right now because of certain things and having to walk on eggshells, but you guys take out the stress from the content creators, let it, allowing them to be themselves again. And, 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 and yeah. Everything and that's what just... matters the most. That's what people start streaming for, to be themselves. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Take a what when you guys are, you know, you've been streaming, <laughs> having conversations even like this, right, would have been really difficult to do. Who's wearing a bicycle helmet in there, Chad? On Twitch, right? Because, like, anyone could join the call. They could say something wrong. Yeah. You're liable for it. There's just so many different things. Is streaming, yeah, streaming is difficult, right? It's a, like I no, said before. You know what it is? Work. Me and Aiden, Aiden were talking about And then you add it on top. Me, me and Aiden was talking about this. You know what it is? I feel like when I, I knew Twitch started to get dry when I started running out of things to say and jokes because I was so limited to what I can say and what I could joke about. And right. it didn't feel yeah. like it didn't feel genuine anymore. It's like, damn, every piece of lingo or every piece of joking or any community joke just gets ran into the ground because everybody has to use it so said, because everybody has to do the same thing guess, and Jack. they're locked to guess. doing the same shit every single Doesn't day matter. and Not it weird. sucks bro facts um eddie and train i want to ask you guys about this you know this is a topic i saw dexter i made a tweet about it uh the creator program for creators how is that gonna work uh eddie if you have anything to say on that you know that's that's a big thing that's game changing i've never even heard of something like that and back when i was a you know a smaller streamer that's something i would obviously be interested in doing what are your what, what's what, what's the creator program can you tell us anything yeah, no, the creative program, this is one I'm, I'm honestly, I'm personally the most excited for. This is going to be the you know, biggest game changer as far as, as streaming goes. Um, you know, right now, biggest problem with streaming is is that a lot of the time you, you do have to unfortunately rely on you know, getting gifted subs and, and receiving receiving money that way. And it, and it creates this really sort of toxic environment sometimes where, it, it's not fair even, right? It, it really isn't fair. Like some people have a heap of viewers, but they're just not getting the same you know, love based on the demographic and a whole bunch of other factors. You know, we want to kind of change that a little bit. There is definitely a way to, to make it so that streamers are able to receive a, a baseline amount of money for every real concurrent viewer that they have. That is essentially the philosophy behind this. There is a value that is attached to that. There is, some, there is, there is, there's a defined value that the platform can, if they want to, afford to pay out per person watching it. It's very simple. And at the moment, um, you know, the, that is that is somewhat possible through ad revenue at the moment, but that isn't, you know, the true the true number that should be being paid out. So, you know, the way we look to solve that is is you know putting together a very simple program. This would be available to partners to begin with. Um, so verified streamers on on Kick to begin with, and um, essentially it'll it'll be broken down by how many viewers you have, how many hours you stream, and, and every day or every week, depending on which payment sort of method you choose to um, receive payment in, you'll get a, a payout uh, in accordance to that. And there is a few factors involved. There, There is no definitive formula to it because, you know, as you guys are well aware, there's there's issues with stuff like, you know, view botting and all that kind of nonsense. Um, so, you know, we, we have to Pretty make sure that we have chat. all our checks and balances in place. So, uh, you know, obviously people who are, they've got an engaged audience and getting a fair payout that's what that that's what the crux of this program will be about and it will hopefully allow for a lot of people who are stuck in that sort of 100 to 1000 or sort of you know even 50 to a thousand viewers to almost make the leap and, and become a full-time streamer um yeah, how do right they eliminate you, 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 you can't do that right now no. because you need to you, you need to you, you can't you can't live off the hope that someone's going to give you a, a 10 subs every day or something right it just doesn't work yep. So and this agreed. is gonna this is gonna close that gap, and the, the most important thing about that is that's gonna help breed the next generation of kick streamers. That's, that's what I'm really looking forward to because yeah. we're gonna allow yeah. 
for those small, not small, but medium to lie, like you know, I'm talking like 50 to a thousand viewers. These guys are going to go full time. When these guys go full time, they can give up their job. When they can look after themselves with like almost a baseline salary, they're going to be able to make the switch. And I'll tell you what, we're going to see some of the best streamers, you know, come to life as a result of this. I think streaming has not seen its best days yet. The best days are still yet to come. The best content creators are still yet to come. You, know, you guys got yep. some competition coming your way. You know, when these guys come up and they've got, you know, the time to spend, you're going to have more people coming up and you're going to be like, shit, the, the game is changing, right? Yeah. You know, it's been the same people for a long, long time. And, and rightfully Facts. so, like there, there, there's some big names, but we're going to, we're going to help, you know, more people make that switch because right now it is so hard to make it on Twitch. Like I know it, so many people put their heart and soul in the streaming and they just don't make it, you know, but I think we can, we can help at least give people a fair rate help them achieve that greatness and i think that will benefit us just as much as it will benefit them most importantly uh guys we got eddie in the chat let's turn off the view bot oh shit i'm not <laughs> muted <Yeah. laughs> uh wait do we, do, we, do, we raise, do, we, do we raise our hand and be called on yeah that's what it feel like i gotta do it yeah. right? it feel like i gotta raise our hand we're talking to our bosses right now <laughs> i know yo but but eddie i wanted to ask you you know Eh, I, I don't like asking these questions. I don't like people say, where do you see yourself? And, but, you know, what is, besides the creator program, are there any other features you guys are excited to get into or announce or anything else that you guys can say to the public right now about the future of Kick? Um, oh, my question, yeah, no, in terms of In terms of other sort of exciting programs, I think what we're going to allow people to do, so this is, you know, a great time to discuss this one, actually. On the back of, of you know, which is change of terms of service today saying, hey, look, you can't advertise mm -hmm. you know, your own products. We want to create a, a, you know, add our own advertising sort of um, you know, platform, which will allow you to directly work with the partners you want to work with and serve ads the same way. So basically you can choose if you want to run ads. You can choose. You can say, I don't want any ads or you That's can choose so, to work wow. with ads, but you work directly with who oh, you want to. That way your viewers what? aren't getting ads for some shit that they don't want, right? Like. Which they, they serve you some bullshit, right? Like sometimes you get like six ads for like a bunch of stuff.